We are just down a couple of days before the first five star limited harmony character is released. We have exactly two days and 17 hours before the meta is shaken up by Ron May. She is going to change the meta even if you don't have a Bronya and in most cases, maybe all cases, she's going to be better than Bronya. Doesn't mean Bronya isn't still going to be good because for like MOC, you still want two teams and having one on each team is going to let you be able to hyper carry both modes of MOC. For me, I don't have a Bronya, so she is a must summon for my account. I will go out on a limb and say she is a must summon for everyone just because you should be able to put her on just about any team and make it better. If you do decide to skip her though, I don't think it'll hurt your account. You'll, you'll just be missing out. I am 29 standard banner pulls away from getting my first Bronya. <laughs> By the time I get her, I'm probably going to get Rune May before her, uh, but man, it's... Uh, it hasn't been a struggle, it's just I've been missing out on some of these zero cycle turns on MLC because I don't have a Bronya. So I don't really get into theory crafting. I'll let a lot of the other content creators do that, but I am planning for her and I'm sure a lot of people are planning for her as well. But it's not just her. So she's a harmony unit. I just finished leveling up my, or increasing all the traces on my team Yun. Also on my Hanya, I almost maxed her out. Uh, again, these are all Harmony units, and now Rune is going to come out, but not too uh, far away is also Sparkle, the Harmony Quantum unit. So I have been farming the heck out of these um, trace materials uh, right here. I got 155 of these so far, 91 of the blue ones. More than enough to max out Ron May, but not enough to max out my Sparkle. With so many units coming out, so we got Ron May, we got the... Uh, Zhu, I can't pronounce it, a four star um, destruction unit. We got Dr. Rachel come out, the Misha, then Sparkle, and then I can't remember, but they announced all these other new uh, characters Robin, uh, Mr. Venturing, Sam, uh, Akron, and, and so on. It's just non stop farming. So, what will help? plan for uh, this farming is the leveling calculator. So I've been using the heck out of this to try to plan precisely what materials I need so I don't over cap it because I want to grind for relics too. My relics are so sad just because I spend all my energy on trace materials or leveling materials. So uh, for Rune May, and most characters, you don't really need to increase their basic attack. So I uh, I'm decreasing her attack to level four. So four is right before it starts using the four star um, Stellaris Symphony. That is the hardest material to get or the material that costs the most energy. Now for her, I'm probably going to max her out to as far as I can go. So level 10. I don't know yet which one I should prioritize. I'm pretty sure ultimate has to be level 10. I think skill uh or between skill and talent I, i'm not sure but I, right now i'm planning to go to 10 and this will show you exactly what you need so in my case um the again the four star material i need 128 of those i have 27 extra but i still need another 100 again to plan for um sparkle uh the, i just started farming this uh jelly chitin uh, I have 15 of these. I need another 50 of them. And then this is going to be the new material that comes out. I'm going to have to wait for 1.6. Just uh, get 12 of those pieces. The next hardest piece is the experience, the traveler's guide. And I'm not really farming for these. And I rarely do because I get the battle pass and they give you a lot in the battle pass. And then also they have the events. It's usually just enough to level up one unit. Uh, so... Uh, I, I think I'm in a pretty good spot. I need 93 more to be able to max her out. But this tells me, again, everything that I need to max and kind of where I'm at. The only thing it doesn't tell you is the um, when you synthesize things. So I have 22 extra of these. I can synthesize these for more purple. And it doesn't really do that math for you. So, But you can do it on yourself. It's not that difficult. But yeah, the leveling calculator is something great. It makes it easy for you to plan on 
what what materials you're going to need to level up your unit so as for gear i think i'm in an okay spot when it comes to gear um i'm pretty sure i'm going to run at least two piece break effect set and i may run if i can run four piece i'll run four piece but it depends on my stats but i may run two piece break maybe two piece speed two two piece something that's going to benefit she's not a dps unit so i don't really need like damage or anything so the speed set probably makes the most sense and then as for as far as the sphere uh i'm kind of going back and forth of what i'm going to do uh either i'm going to run more break effect or I'm going to run the Penacone for energy regen, but then within those using the break effect main set or the energy regen main set, I'm not quite sure. Again, it, everyone's a little different based off their account and looking at my account, I'm in a pretty awkward situation here. So when I look at my break effect sets, in particular boots, boots, I, I want to say pretty much you're going to want to run speed. And anything you have, you want break effect on it. You want to maximize your break effect. I'm not sure what the magic number is, but I'm pretty sure it's up there. And see, my speed boots, I don't have any break effects. So that's why I may get speed from another set, maybe the speed set, and then have break effect on those. Um, and then uh, I have uh, several other pieces I'll probably take from someone else. So see, I have 11% break effect on here, plus speed, so I may, may take that off. Uh, it's only plus 12, so I have a chance to get more. Uh, same, I got speed here, but I don't have break effect. And if I look at some of my other pieces, again, I'm going to look at break effect. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to go crit, crit rate, or maybe attack. Uh, to be determined on that, but definitely want um, break effect, or actually just go with break effect. And then uh, for gloves again why whatever has break effect so try to max them out, uh, maximize break effect and maximize speed as much as possible too uh, this piece actually has bolt I'm going to lock that because I'll probably use that um, now when it comes to the sphere and orb this is where I maybe like some of you guys might struggle I think if I had the best set I would probably go with the Penacone set for more energy regen uh, and then put break effect stats on here but the problem i have is my penacone i don't have any break effect on any of my penacone pieces here uh, or i gotta look at the ropes <laughs> so it's like i can't run it i would have to farm for it but my sphere i do have some with ice damage i don't think ice or her damage overall is going to matter with her again she's not a dps but i guess preference would rather have ice damage over attack so that would kind of rule out the Penacone, but then when I go and look at my break effect, uh, I have a lot of good ropes. So when the game started, you know, I kind of farmed this a lot because there wasn't that many things to farm. So I have some decent ropes. I, I have some, again, with break effect and speed, and I still have some room to level up. And then I have a lot of ropes with energy regen on the break effect set. So unfortunately, um, well, this one has break effect on there. So I, I may actually level them both and try them. The only problem is my spheres. I don't have anything with ice on here. So if I end up using one of these, it's going to... It's going to kind of be a loss for damage but again at the same time she's not doing much damage anyways so i might just pick one that has break effect on here and use it or i'll just probably borrow i think i built one for silver wolf with 16 percent break effect again quantum damage i mean how much am i really going to lose i'm not really sure but that's the experiment but see where i'm going it's like i don't have the perfect set my relics are so bad that i'm not exactly sure which way i should go i might have to try them out or um, and then I'll wait and see what other people decide to go with. Anyways, I am super excited for her, mainly because I don't have a Bronya. I still can't believe I don't have a Bronya. I took some bad advice when I started the game. I should have got her first, but oh well, it is what it is. I mean, I, I still able to complete all the content in the game. I just want to be able to do it a little bit more easier um, and be able to make some more content. Um, and having a Bronya would uh make it a little bit easier to do that but now that ron may is here and i almost have a bronya now with my 300 pulls yeah it's i i am so excited about her coming and then just looking at the future all the uh information that they've just been dropping on us on what's coming out in the future i mean there is a lot of excitement in this game so
anyways that's it for me thanks for watching let me know what you're going to do to your Ron May or if you're looking at you got any suggestions for me again I, I'm not really a theory crafter um, but yeah let me know catch y'all next one